So we're going to continue with solving logs. So remember when we add, it really means multiply. So x times x minus 21 equals 2. Let me distribute. Now whenever we have one log, the goal is to change it to exponential. So since there isn't a base, it's base 10. And now exponential x squared minus 21x equals 100. Set it equal to 0. Factor uh, 25 and 4. Oops. Plus 25 minus 4. So my numbers are negative 25 and 4. But the problem is if I take the log of a negative number, it's going to give me an error. So the answer is 4. And if you want to check it, you can. You can go the log of 4 and then 4 minus 21. Ooh, maybe it's no solution. Um, actually, it's no solution, so there's no answers that work. So be careful of that one, okay? Because if, let's make sure I did, oh, hmm. remember when I told you, if you get no solution, it might mean you made a mistake. So let me look back, and here's my mistake. 21 is bigger, 21 is negative, so that should be positive. So my answer should be 25 and negative 4. It's a perfect example. I love that I made that mistake because too many times I see people give me no solution because you made the mistake. Okay, so when I plug in 25, that works. When I plug in negative 4, that doesn't work, so my answer is 25. Okay, add 5. Okay. Now the problem with this one is that I can't find them, the, I can't make it so they have the same base. So what I'm going to have to do is log it. Now what I want to do is preface this by saying, what if this same problem, and I'll get back to it, said this. Then I'm expecting you to do this. Set those equal to each other and then x would equal 3 fourths. So if they can have the same base, you need to do that. I'm not going to be okay with you logging it. But since I, they can't have the same base, so now I'm going to go little turns big. And don't worry, you'll have more space on your test. Log 5 equals log 30. Divide by log 5. So now I'm left with 4x minus 1 equals. So I'm going to pick up my calculator, and I'm going to go log 5 in parentheses. I mean, just kidding, log 30 divided by log 5. Enter. Now, I'm going to estimate it here, but I'm going to keep the, uh, the answer here, so that way it's perfect. Add 1 to both sides. So now I'm going to go plus 1. And I'm left with 4x equals 3.11. Now I'll divide by 4. So now I'm going to go divide by 4. And my answer rounded to the nearest hundredth is 0.78. Now, I can check my answer. But knowing that I rounded, I want to be clear. What you would do is you would plug 0.78 in for x. So you're going to go 4 times 0.78 minus 1. Now, that's what you calculated here. So now I'm going to go 5 to that answer. So I'm going to go 5 to that, and we're going to go second answer, second negative. And then I'm going to subtract 5. And if you look, it's a little bit over 25, but remember we estimated, but it's pretty darn close, so I probably know I'm good to go. Okay, let's go to the next one. Divide by 7. e to the negative 1.2x equals 20 over 7. But since I'm dealing with E, it's not log, it's natural log with an L. So when I do natural log, those are inverses of each other, so it cancels. And I'm left with the other, whatever the value of natural log of 20 over 7 is. So let me figure that out right now. Um, so let's go natural log, which is right below the log button, parentheses. Oops, it's already done. 20 divided by 7. 
and I get about 1.05. Okay, who cares? I'm going to keep it in my calculator and make it perfect. Now I would divide by negative 1.2, knowing that I'm keeping my perfect answer here. Divide by negative 1.2 and round it to the nearest. X equals negative 0.87. Now, just like in logs, you can't have negative numbers. In natural logs, you can't. But the thing is, if you did this times this, a negative times a negative is a positive. So let me show you how to check this one as well. I know some people want to do that. So I go negative 1.2 times negative 0.87. I'm going to take e to that answer. So the e is the inverse of natural log. So I'm going to go natural log of second answer. And I'm going to multiply it by 7. And if you look, it's 1988, which is very close to 20, so I know I'm good to go. Okay, if a population grows at a rate of 3.8%, um, how long would it take for it to quadruple? So that means that whatever the value is, it's going to be four times that. And if I move the decimal, um, four, I mean two times to the left, that's 0 0.038. Now I'm going to log both sides. And I end up with log 4 equals, little turns big, x log of 1.038. Let me raise that. Divide by log of 1.038. And that is the value of x. It's a more simple problem, which is great. Um, so I'm going to go log 4 divided by log of 1.038. And I get 37.17. Okay, now I have to read what the question says. It says, about how long would it take the population to quadruple? So honestly, I guess in this case, I'd probably be happy with 37, because it says about, about 37 years. But actually, you know what? I'd rather say 38 years. That way we're erring on the caution side. So show me it rounded perfectly, and then give me this. Technically, it is closer to 37 years, but we know that things don't quadruple until that point, which means after that, we can ensure that it would be quadrupled. All right, describe the transformations. Now, you know that I am not going to write it out, but you need to write it out. So when I see this, you need to write reflection over x-axis. This one, vertical compression by a factor of one-third. You need to write that out. Vertical translation, six units up. And this is always do the opposite when it's with the x. Horizontal translation, one unit left. If you give me this as it is, I don't know what language that is. I don't know what it means. Okay? And technically, this is wrong because this should have been g of x. So if you notice that happening on the test and I made a mistake, fix it and I'll give you a bonus for it. I don't know. Hopefully I didn't make that mistake on the test. All right. So they want you to write a function, an exponential model, but use P sub T. So time is always the independent and the percent is dependent on the time. If you look, it's at zero. So I started at 100 and it's increasing by 12%. Make sure if that's a T, that's got to be a T, okay? Now, if you're not sure, what you're going to do is this. you got a 50% shot. You're either going to go 100 divided by 112, but then if you look, that's less than 100. That wouldn't, it wouldn't imply it's getting bigger. So you know it's got to be 112 divided by 100, and there's my 1.12.